What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over another profit switching miner. This is similar to NiceHash but this one is called Cryptex. It's cryptex.org. So we're going to do a how-to video and show you guys how to cash out and referral program and everything else in it. So let's get into it, guys. There's two ways to start. You go to cryptex.org. You can either click download cryptex here or you can log in here. You can see I'm already logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and go do it this way. Let's download cryptex. Once it says cryptex is downloaded, go ahead and go wherever you downloaded it to. Double click on it. And if for any reason your antivirus pops up, says it's a virus, go ahead and click run on it. It's not a virus. A lot of mining programs get this. And then it will pop up saying, do you want this app to change stuff? You say yes. And this is the screen that we've been looking for. So right here, you're going to input your email. If you don't have an account, this is also acting like your registration. Once you input your email and what password you want, you can click sign in or down here to register. It works, like I said, both ways. Give a couple of seconds to open. Once you log in, it's going to finalize its installation. It might take a little bit of time or it might be quick depending on your computer. So we're going to give it a little time to install and see what the next screen will pop up for us. So after all the installation is done, this is what it's going to open like. It's going to give you how much money you have in there. Solutions, solutions, just like shares. Basically, that's what they're counting it like. And it's going to start mining right away. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until manual. I just want to go through a couple of things with you guys before we start benching. Under settings tabs in mining, it says start mining with Windows open. I always turn this off because I don't want it to start mining. And then use your CPU. I don't want to use my CPU. Now you have a couple different options when I'm on a computer. Do you want it to run a light mode or full mode? I don't use this computer for anything else. So I always put in full mode. So it's using your whole graphics card for mining. And then last thing I want to show you says pro mode. If you turn it on, it'll give you a little bit of warning. And you say go to pro mode. So after you benchmark, it will show you all your stuff that you're using, temperature, watts that's taken, and everything else. Now that that's all said, and I showed you a couple of things, guys, let's do a benchmark. So rerun benchmark. Not sure why it's saying rerun it, because we haven't done it yet, but we're going to go ahead and run the benchmarks. This might take a little bit of time, and I'm only going to use my graphics card, because I need the CPU for recording this video. And it's always going to give you a little bit of warning, since Cryptex uses GPUs and CPU for script current generation. The management is necessary for Cryptex to start working. It will take 1 to 10 minutes. So I don't even have to give you a warning about timing. They already did. So this is going to start and it's going to say also antivirus might, might pop up a false positive for the program saying it's a virus. It is not. So we're going to go ahead and let this run to finish the benchmark and we'll get back then. Once your benchmarks are finished, it's going to say CPU tests were passed, GPU tests were passed, everything is okay. Start earning. So right here is going to start computing. And you got to give it a little bit of time to start up. It usually takes a couple of minutes. I will go ahead and start doing some overclocks while it's doing that. So I'm assuming it's going to mine Ethereum. It will tell me that as well. So I'm going to just throw in my actual overclocks for Ethereum. Here we go, right there. So we can lower these temperatures down a little bit. And we'll see. It will tell you how many watts it's taken. I'm sure about 70, 71 is what I take when I mine with Phoenix Miner. So now that it's all set up and it's running, I'm going to go ahead and switch into their website and go from there. But before I do switch into their website, this is what it should look like something for you guys. It will show you profitability per month here, how much per day. It will show you it's mining Dagger, Hashimoto, ETH. It also should show you the hash rate as well. So this hash rate should be about 31 for me, but since I'm recording, as you guys see in my previous videos, it runs a little bit lower. Temperature is going down. It is taking 70 watts and you guys can see fan is 70 and on the right the fan is 70. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down so we can go into their website and show you a couple of things there. So a couple of things I want to show you on their website. This is your dashboard. This is where it's going to tell you how much balance you have, how much BTC you have. And it's going to show you your earning history as well. Now I have my laptop running so we can look at a couple of things that we wouldn't be able to since I turned the program off to look at this video. So under balance is going to show you balances, BTC rate, confirmed solutions, which is shares technically. And on, on, on. under hardware, oh, it's showing my uh, 1616 Ti. It's still working. So it's doing uh, Dagger Hashimoto. This is the rate that we saw, 54 Celsius is my temperature, 70 watts, just shows you a bunch of information that you would like. And then underneath it all, it shows you benchmarks. So this is what it says for my Dagger Hashimoto, for my CPU, which is 3900X. These should be a little bit higher. Random X, a Kapow, it should be doing Beam Hash 3, UBQ Hash, and everything else. And then we can also look at the CPU. I left the CPU on just in case the GPU did not show up. So I put my laptop just quickly so you guys have some charts here. And you guys can see it's doing it under 
it only has i3 in there so it's only mining random x on the charts you guys can look at the charts see if it shows anything but for right now it's not showing anything in the cpu because it doesn't have a temperature tracking or power wattage so that's uh, as far as dashboard and balances and hardware go. The next thing I want to show you is the payment method. Now it does have a couple of things on here. It does have you can get paid on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Russian uh, Kiwi, I'm not sure what it is, the index money, Russian cards, web money, you can uh, US dollars, Visa, Amazon gift cards, Cryptex merchant, stuff like that. It's awesome. Euro, Chinese yen, Turkish lira. Ukrainian Hervina, I hope I said that right, and then it has a Kazakhstani uh, Visa Master. So those are a lot of options. If you're not in the USA, you can look it up. Maybe it'll help you out. Now the only thing I want to tell you about the payouts is how much it takes. So so this is a little bit different than NiceHash. It does have a bigger fee to cash out. Now if your NiceHash is connected to Coinbase account, you can cash out for free. But here, if you're mining, you're gonna have to mine for more than a couple of days. So if you have something like a i3 that you want to just play with, it will take a very long time for you to cash out. So make sure you check your hardware and see what you can make daily to make sense for you to cash out. And it's gonna take a while, as I said, $12 right now. So if you have a GPU that makes, I don't know, $3 a day, it will take over four days for it to actually reach just the fee that it takes to cash out. So that's the only downfall of this. On the upside, if you guys scroll down here, under affiliate programs, if you share your link and invite your friends, you're gonna get 3% of their earnings. So that somehow you can cover those fees for withdrawal or just use NiceHash, whichever one you wanna do. But this, as many friends you can get, you get 3% from them and you can just earn it all. And it has some information here as well. So that's coverage of Cryptex, guys. I showed you how to mine it, payouts, couple information, affiliate program. I'll have this link down there. If you want to use my link, you can. If not, not a big deal. I'll have it down there. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll try to help you as much as I can. All right, guys, as always, subscribe, like it, and as always, have a nice day.